Yes, let's get after it today, y'all. Let's get better. Come on, let's get better. Let's get better. Let's go. We got together out there. What's your day? Here we go. This year, all in challenged our group to be all in. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Let's get after it. Whether it's what you're eating, how much sleep you're getting, everything you're doing, you know, going to class, sitting in the front row, putting everything into the weight room, just being all in in every aspect. That's not fast enough. It's got to be a turn in a sprint. It's got to be a turn in a sprint. To make sure Purdue wins. Katie Gerald gets it done. That is something I feel really, really passionate about, just the pride of wearing those six letters on your chest. I played from 03 to 07, and we were really good. When I played at Purdue, coaching never, ever entered my mind. But once I had that opportunity, I knew I didn't want to do it anywhere else but here at Purdue. We'll get our first look at Katie Gerald in her first season as the Boilermakers head coach. This past year, it was a roller coaster for all of us. For them to really start to buy into me almost immediately, trust me from the beginning, that I was going to ask them to run through a lot of brick walls, but I was going to run through that same brick wall with them. Not before them, not after them, but right there beside them. She brings fire to our team, and she coaches with a lot of passion too, and you can tell. I want to win. I want more All-American jerseys hanging. I want Final Fours. I want Big Ten championships hanging in Mackey. But the thing I want most in 20 years is I want to make sure that all the young women that play for us have a Purdue degree in hand. And I hope to God that they're calling me, inviting me to their wedding. My job tells me I'm supposed to win basketball games, but my, my calling is to make sure these 18 to 22 year old women chase their dreams and find a way to make them come true. Be tougher. Tougher when you shoot it. Tougher when you drive it. Tougher when you're down in the stands. Tougher when you go rebound it. Tougher when you get on the floor. Be tougher. Just really, really fascinated by some really cool shoes. She strives in, in being swaggy, I want to say. Um, she wants to be the best dress, for sure. When I meet someone for the first time, I'm drawn to their eyes. I think the next thing that happens is I go right to their shoes and, and try to check out their kid game. Most often because, do they have a pair that I don't have? Do I need that pair? And if it has any kind of gold on it, I'm trying to figure out where it is how they got it and where can I find it. They'll be color coordinated. My blacks are here. My Jordan ones and probably move on from ones to the four, to the nine, to the 11, as I just keep growing my collection. The way you look helps your play too, but the fact to see your coach over there on the sideline with the freshest Jordans, you just wanna, you wanna put that on too. The two that inspire me every day is my mom and dad. I always tell people, if I can make those two people proud, then I'm doing my job. We lived a modest life growing up, but we never wanted. You know, there was nothing we, as kids, like we had everything we wanted is because of what they did and the sacrifices they made for us. From where she started and, and now to, to know that she's, she's the head coach, it's uh, kind of surreal and Still enjoying coming up to Purdue. <laughs> when I was in high school, I made a deal with my parents my freshman year that if I was Indiana Miss Basketball my senior year, they would buy me the car of my dreams, right? So I, I'm named Indiana Miss Basketball my senior year. A week later, I go out in the garage and there's a 2002 yellow Ford Mustang convertible. My dad traded in his truck. He drove my 88 Chevy Celebrity until the wheels fell off so they could afford my car. So I'll get emotional now. This is a pretty cool thing. I told him to find the truck he wanted. I met him at the dealership. It just couldn't be red. That was the deal, right? It just can't be red. Sign a check. He's got a brand new truck.
the poor girl, she made me cry. I've been driving the heck out of it. I've already got 1,100 miles on it. I told her it was a birthday present, Christmas present for the rest of my life. It meant everything. Who those two people are to me, the sacrifices they made for, for all of us growing up. He told me it was just a return on all his investments, but fair enough. I wouldn't have traded that moment for anything in the world.